Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Hôtel de Cluny, Rue de Maturin, Paris. I guarantee this letter is from my mother. The address is a hideout for the Golden Order. If you write anyone over there, you have to watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dauchois? Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he is going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Ah, it's coming back to me. Godoy is the head of the Spanish government. He was appointed by King Charles IV, if I'm not mistaken. Rumor has it, He's very close to the queen. Too close. Much too close. But hey, that's none of my business. He has a reputation of being upright and proud, very attached to the aristocracy, and close to Louis XVI. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. special. The sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. Latin inscription. En nesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop?
Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Mother passed her passion for art to me. Ancient art. Very ancient. Ah, I didn't know your mother was an art lover. Mainly pre-Christian objects which are believed to have unique properties. Well, how interesting. Now that you mention it, I can indeed imagine Sarah getting interested in that. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah... Uh... I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Your Eminence, if there is one thing you can count on, it is the value of a promise made by a Dorishe. Respecting our commitments has always been the pillar of our family, and nothing nor nobody will prevent that from happening. Since you know my mother, you should know that a Dorishe always keeps their word. You can be sure of that. Thank you, my son. It is most reassuring. You're welcome, especially as I promised you nothing, my friend. Listen, let's stop there. I am going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that 
Time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. What were you talking about? Forgive my Nothing strange about that. 